Do you like to build cars, but constantly find yourself skipping around on the project and forgetting about things? If so, you could understand what it's like to build a car if you have ADD, like myself. You start on one part of the car and you just jump around to another part without ever finishing the one part you started with. For instance, body mounts. I told myself once I got the rest of the body mounted, I'd come back and finish weld the body mounts in. Didn't do that on either side or on the inside. Not even on the driver's side. So that's got to be finished. I also told myself that I was going to get bolts for this. Yep. Didn't do that either. It's on the list though. I just get distracted easily. Also on the list, these nuts, they're too big. They stick up too high. It's just not going to work for the plan I have. So those need to get switched out. Still haven't done it. Oh, looks like I never finished welding that either. Or down there. Might as well finish that. This is this is how the projects get away from me sometimes. And I never get them finished all the way. It's not happening this time, though. I'm staying on top of it. What else have I neglected to get to? Oh, yeah. I was going to box that where I notched my frame out a little bit there. I was going to run a piece of plate down and across and back up and really strengthen that up a lot. Haven't done it yet. So that's on the agenda this week. Oh, not just that side. This side, too. Yeah. I gotta get better at this. What else do we got? Oh, yep. I've known this since I took the body off and I should have fixed it then. This gasket right here between the transmission and the T case leaks like a sieve. I'm pretty sure it leaked on my transmission fluid onto my floor. So I probably should do that before I get anything covering it because it'd be way easier. You know, I'm, I'm sure there's other things that I just, I'm not remembering right now, but before I get too much further ahead, I'm gonna stop and go back and take care of things I've skipped over to get to other parts of the project because that's the way my ADD brain works. It's time to reel her back in a little bit and refocus. If you have ADD, you understand this, you get it. If if you don't, this is just the way our brains work. We are easily distracted. We can't stay focused. We jump around on projects quite a bit. At least I do. Oh, there's that wrench I was looking for. It's like damn near 80 degrees out today on October or something. I should be out driving the car again like I was Friday. I gotta get work done on this car. I gotta stay focused. Should I probably be doing this with a cutoff wheel? Yeah, but I'm running out of cutoff wheels and I'm sick of buying them every day. The downside is I'm running out of material and I don't have enough to do the other side. One side's better than none, I guess. I'm, I'm kidding. I'll find something to get the other side done. Probably. <laughs> Looks perfect to me. Probably would have been smart to grab the other stuff. Oh, that's the wrong helmet. Come on, baby, work with me. not the worst I've done. Look really good through there. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Oh, that got hot on the finger. Probably gonna do a double pass over that just cause, just cause that's all I got. Ooh, that looks pretty. Just snugging her up a little bit, making sure it's mint. Ah, damn it. Here I am trying to give it an extra pass on there just to make sure I got a good penetration and I go and weld my tips shut. I definitely don't think it's going anywhere. So to try and keep myself in check here, I'm just gonna work on one side of the car, then the other side of the car. Maybe I can 
you know, finish some things completely. Next thing to do, at least right here, is finish welding my body mounts. We started off a little weak, but I think we finished strong. I think it looks pretty good. She's on there solid now. Couldn't really see up in there for some of it, so we guessed. I just want the record to show that, that I'm aware this is probably not the correct way to do this, but I'm out of steel. I'm gonna make do with what I got. I'm sure it'll be fine. Welding helmet's probably a good idea though. only gonna add to the strength of it. It's not taken away from it. <laughs> Stanky. I mean, I feel like that went better than some of my upside down welding. Maybe it didn't. Okay, that part didn't go so well. Perfect. I know everybody likes to show off their awesome welds. Yeah, that's that's the money shot. Yeah, I, it's not, it's, it's not the money shot. I don't care. What I do care about is this should strengthen up this area of the frame. I'm probably gonna sneak another one back in here somewhere where I did some other work and the same on this side, I might sneak another plate back in here. Just kind of box it in a little bit. Should really help stiffen everything up. At least that's what I'm telling myself. We're just knocking it off the list tonight. Got my bars welded in, body mounts are all welded in fully, both sides. These plates are in now. I picked up my tea case gasket so I can get that knocked out. We're making some progress. All the little stuff that I always forget about until the end because I'm, you know, I keep skipping over it. But not this time. This Simon is staying on track and focusing and, oh my. Airplug. That's why I couldn't find it. We'll put that up there for later. That's right. I even went and got the correct nuts and bolts. I know it's not huge. Oh my God. But it's still steps. It's still stuff I skipped and it's still stuff I'm getting taken care of so I'm not further down the line and having to come back and redo it in the future. Because that's how my projects always get delayed. I'll get so far ahead and I'll be coming back at the end of the project doing little stupid shit like this. Trying to rein that ADD in. We'll see how well it works out for me. I mean, that's basically flush. Gonna that in, collar good. Do the same on the other side. I got bolts for the rear and then the body will be officially locked in. Ah, my gloves are way up there. I'm not bothering with them. It'll be fine. <laughs> That's stinky. Uh-oh. That body mount got a little warm. Again. Nope, that bottle's empty. <laughs> Hell yeah. Now that only leaves just tying the body down back here and she's locked in, ready to rock and roll. Ew. I already forgot what else was on my list of ADD shit I forgot. I did find something else though, like I gotta finish tying the body in on the outsides here. I tacked it onto the body there. It's only tacked there, it's tacked there, it's not tacked there. These are tacked to the rails here, but they're not tacked back to the body there. Not even sure what my plan was, to be honest. So I think I might just finish that out as well. I don't know. Pump the brakes, Simon. Slow your roll. I remember now. I was gonna cut a piece of shit 
sheet metal to fit in there and I was gonna weld that right to the outer fender. That's why I didn't do anything. Now I remember. So this I have to come back to because I'm all out of metal. I have no sheet metal right now. So it's gonna have to wait. Boy, I'm glad I saved myself from doing all that extra work. Well, I'm back out here to continue on my ADD list of things to finish up before I move forward. My daughter was sick a few days ago and now, well, lucky me, I've got it. I don't know what it is, but it's not fun. But the build must go on, so. That's what we're doing. I found some old, I don't know, knockoff Dayquil on top of the refrigerator. I'm not even sure how old it is. I'm hoping it helps. So I'm gonna pop some pills, drink some water, suck on some cough drops, and try and get this tea case out. And I like the warm tea, and it's very... I've never taken one of these out of these newer trucks, but I gotta imagine it's gotta be easier with no floor up here. I'm hopeful. I must have dropped the screwdriver down there. I like GM, but sometimes they had some really stupid ideas. And maybe it's just because I'm not smart enough to know why they do what they do. <sighs> but this whole, you gotta cut the clamp off this rubber boot to get your drive shaft out, it's kind of dumb. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. I'm just, I'm not a fan of that idea. I'm sure there's a smart person out there that knows why you do that. It's not moving at all. I don't know if it's just seized in there or what's going on. Nope, not moving at all. I might just take the whole tea case out with the drive shaft attached and deal with it on the floor. I don't know how, t how heavy this tea case is, so I just put this chain on here so I can just bring my cherry picker in and yeah. hook it and Pull it out. It wants to come off, but it is coming off. Time to do the other one. So start at the top, right? Yeah. Then go down, then do that again. Mm -hmm. Taking it off and putting it back on. Mm -hmm. I almost got it. Is this one different? Okay, so now you're gonna start at the bottom and come up because you're on the other side. All right, can you give the jack like a, a pump maybe? I'm just not sure if there's another one hidden somewhere. I love it when engineers force you to take three or four more other things off to get the one thing out you're trying to get. Turns out there was one more nut up underneath. So you have to lift the transmission up, remove the transmission mount, and then you can access this nut. I got it done now. Probably taking me way longer than it should. Now, with the help of my helper here. I'm standing and I like it. It should come out. Fingers crossed. All right, give her a pump here. I think that might be high enough. <laughs> All right, here's where we are. This is just unbelievable. I can't even hardly get this boot back here to show you, but it is. She is seized in there bad. I mean, it's it's bad. I so I'm probably gonna prop it up and then get some penetrating lube and let her soak overnight and hopefully that's enough to get it to pop out. I don't know if it will be or not. We'll find out. Honestly, I think that's it for today. I need to go track down some medicine because I feel like ass. I have had this set up overnight, sprayed it multiple times before I even touch it this morning. I'm gonna spray some more knock her loose penetrant in there. I really don't want to have to start throwing heat at it, but if I get desperate, I get desperate. It's not looking good. Oh, I think it moved. I think we're making headway. But it is definitely moving. Whew. Yeah, 
I'm out of, I'm out of energy. Still not feeling 100%. But we are making progress. In my head, I'm trying to see if there's a way I can lock this in the vise. It's like really get a good hit on it. Instead of rocking it off my foot. All right, she's definitely coming now. <laughs> we got her. I'll probably end up taking a wire wheel to this and cleaning it all up. Clean up the best I can inside there. I gotta, yeah. It's okay, I got new U joints for this anyways. I figured it's out, I'm about to put new U joints in it and be done with it. And maybe put some grease in there, some anti-seas, I don't know. We'll put something in there so it doesn't, hopefully it doesn't do that again. At least that part's taken care of now. I'll take that one for sure. Basically using the cherry picker as my extra hand here. We need to rotate down more. Easy. Uh oh. <laughs> got it in, got it in. I got it in. Probably would have been smart to have a wrench up here ready to go. Okie dokie. Now I just gotta screw around underneath again and get that miserable one in, and then we'll be rocking and rolling. I don't know if you guys can even see this on camera or not. I can't tell. But one miserable nut to get on this whole project, even without a floor in the vehicle, is this one up in here underneath, which ain't so bad because I can jack it up as far as I want because I don't have a floor to bother with. I can imagine if you did have a floor in the way, and you couldn't get it up this high? What a nightmare this could be. I suppose you could always drop this cross member and everything, but why would you have to? That's dumb. I'm constantly fighting my jack because my jack is a pile of crap and it's always settling. It's not that I'm cheap and don't want to buy another one. It's not I'm poor. And hopefully those tightened up and not just cross-threaded, because that would be super. Okay, there we go. T-case is back in. I've still gotta do the drive shaft situation yet. It's not my ADD brain skipping over it and jumping to the next thing. It's the fact that I gotta track down a rubber boot, because apparently that's just not a part store find anymore. I don't know if it's a dealer thing or I gotta check Rock Auto, I'll, I'll track one down. So I can't put the drive shaft back in until I find that. But I think that completes my list of uh, ADD items that I've uh, been neglecting and avoiding and just jumping around on the project for. So now I can get back to constructing. Yes, I gotta, yeah, I gotta get this all sucked up and cleaned up and fresh. So thanks for watching. See you next time. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up. It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me. It's not working out.